Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 43 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brilliant. Thank you. Carrying on from the last episode, there's going to be a lot of spraying in this one. To begin with, we'll finish off all the dark yellow. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. Here I've decided to switch to Revel's Aqua Colour Mix as for some reason my homebrew thinners were starting to split the Revel acrylic paint. Don't know why. We'll have to investigate that one. Bugger, quick repair job, out with the super glue.
there's me thinking I'd got all the painting done. Oh no. I found some stragglers. Oh, and there was a bit of touching up to do. That's all the dark yellow done, hopefully. We'll see. Next, I wanted to freehand the brown and green over the tank, but having never used Revel for spraying, I've used it in conjunction with the hairy stick, I decided I need to practice with them. I chose the green and I did it on the underside of the tank, as you'll never see that. So I tried for over an hour to get this right, but to no avail. I'm confident in my airbrush abilities, but not with the Revel paint. I tried thin paint, thick paint, in between thicknesses. I tried my compressor from 5 psi through to 25 psi and all the ones in between, but got absolutely nowhere. It either spluttered the paint all over the shop or it gave me spider's legs. I just couldn't find a happy medium with this, so I gave up using it. I hate having to give in to things like this, but this was just taking way too long. Anyway, I decided I'm going to start with a turret, so I masked the whole of it in blue tack and I take it from there. So let's get the thing this mass, shall we, and crack on with the build.
tell you what, I'll be honest about this, this can be quite confusing at times. Trying to get the right lines. I sometimes mixed up the green lines with the brown ones and vice versa. As you can see, take off the blue tack, redo it. I had to rotate the colour guide as well so I could understand where it was. But we're getting there, slowly but surely. There we go, that's the masking done. Now onto painting the brown. I've decided that we're going to use Tamiya. I just don't trust the Revel through my airbrush. And we're going to be using XF9 Red Brown. So let's get that done, shall we? There we have the brown laid down. Now for the big reveal. Let's see how we've done. There we have the turret painted in the brown. I think they're a little bit thin and a little bit too stark. So it looks like we're gonna to have to be going over them freehand, but I'll be using Tamiya paint. So I'm a bit more comfortable with that. Also, a couple of pieces came off in my end. Honest mistake, governor. Anywho, we've run out of time. So this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 43. If you want to see what happens in episode 44, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>